What is up, YouTube? This is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater, and I am up here in Frisco, Texas, doing a theater room installation. We also are installing a 5.1 and patio uh, speaker system downstairs, so make sure to check out that video if you're interested in how to outfit your living room system. We'll uh, be releasing that video as well. So, I got here a little late. We had to check up on another job this morning, but you can see the guys have already started. Let me show you what we got in this room. Okay, so this customer is pre-wired for a 5.1 and you can see the guys actually already got all of the speakers popped in. So we got our front left, front right, and center speaker all in the ceiling. And our rears in the ceiling as well. And we're using the CS series, CS18s for the rear. And then the Pro series in the front. We're gonna be mounting this Q60R up there on the wall. That, <laughs> that home theater dude. It's the QLED quantum dot television. This is the base model, the Q60. They also have the Q70, 80, 90, and 900 R. This is a great value TV, especially this time in the year. They're basically giving them away. You got the Denon, the uh, ABR S. 750, 750H, right here. So they're really affordable, uh, seven channel system, uh, or seven channel receiver. And this, again, has Heos built in. So in my other video, where we show you the downstairs system, they're running Heos as well, the in-command series, a little nicer system. The customer uh, did want to put more quality uh, speakers into the downstairs because that's going to be his primary movie watching room. This is just kind of a room that he had uh, that was built from the builder. So he wanted to go ahead and get it outfitted uh, for the kids to use. So it's not optimal. I know what all you people on YouTube are going to say. Zach, in ceiling speakers in the front and back. What are you thinking? Well, it was pre-wired like this and um, yeah, even though it may not be optimal, we are going to make it sound as good as we can for the customer. So, right now, Aaron's actually getting everything stripped back for the speaker wire. Speaker wires are, are very, very simple. Uh, you just got red and black, positive, negative. Um, and we're going to hook those up to the receiver, uh, tone them out, and assign them properly in the uh, Odyssey setup. As far as the subwoofer, I don't think we talked about that. We got the SPL series, the 100. Small little guy, but it's a banger. And this is a ported subwoofer. Downstairs, we're running the SPL 120, giving a little bit more juice. It is a bigger room. Alrighty, guys. Uh, so that's an overview of what we're going to be doing today in this particular theater room. I will show you little bit of the installation procedure. A lot of this has already been done, but uh, getting it mounted, uh, TV mounted up on the wall as well as making connections to the receiver. And then I'll show you a demo whenever we get it hooked up. All right guys, so today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing an unboxing of this Samsung Q60R. That's all we're gonna be doing. We're not gonna put it on the wall. We're not gonna do any calibration. We're just gonna unbox this thing. So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Catch you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. All right, so you guys can see Aaron's been going beast mode up here. Got all, all the end ceilings in place already. And we're gonna go ahead and work on getting this TV mounted up on the wall. This is the mount we're gonna be using. It's just a standard uh, tilt mount, nothing fancy. Yeah, so mounting a TV is pretty simple, guys. You're just gonna take your bracket and attach it to the four hole locations like so and then find out where your studs are on the wall you can see the guys have already reviewed with the customer the location where it is going to be mounted as well as the height so we'll find those studs and get it bolted in okay so as i was getting everything removed from the tv box like the remote and the power cable and the batteries 
I just threw Aaron the little washers that the TV comes with. You don't have to use these, but what it does is just make sure that it has the proper spacing and that it doesn't over torque whenever you're mounting this bad boy to the television. It also, because the TV's curved, makes it sit flat. So I would recommend putting these in. All right, this room is almost a wrap. You can see we got the bracket up there on the wall. Let's go ahead and throw it up. All right, you can see we got this puppy up on the wall, looking good. I'm gonna blow through this quick setup. Well, you can see you have ESPN, you got the, the PBS Kids, you got all the goods. That's room. I think he's got a 4K Apple TV set up in there. Yeah. All right, so you can see here, guys, this is where the customer's console is gonna go. He has it on order, so we're just gonna leave everything on the floor right now, on the boxes. As far as devices go, we have the cable box, a Apple TV. He's, this is a 1080p one, but we'll want him to get the 4K. His Orbi for extended Wi-Fi, and the Logitech Harmony Pro. For all my out-of-state customers, this is the best system if you're gonna DIY it because I can ship it to you and you can set the whole thing up on your phone. You don't need a professional installer to do it, which is why I love it. It uh, accomplishes most of the things that the larger automation systems that we sell offer, like Savant, Control 4, and URC, but it's more consumer grade. So you're gonna be like, Lutron Cassetta for lighting as an example or like on HVAC control you'd be using Nest but it's all consumer grade very easy to set up uh, can't really beat it it's only 300 bucks for the hub the remote and the uh, charging station and it also has a limited uh, app licensing so you can get it on all of your iPads and iPhones at no extra cost this is the AVR S750H we're using and this is the Odyssey setup. If you're gonna be calibrating it yourself, this is crucial. Uh, you, it's basically a little microphone and you plug it in and it measures the distance in the line and assigns the appropriate amount of power to each speaker as well as the crossover based on the reverb in the room and the distance from the seating area. So it's a quick, easy way to calibrate your system if you're DIYing it. We'll uh, run through that here shortly. All right guys, this is the theater room. We got our end ceiling speakers front left front right and center speaker those are all the pro series and then at the rear we got the cs series the custom series at the rear this is a 5.1 configuration we are running a spl 100 and again just like the living room setup this particular room um doesn't have the console yet so whenever the customer does get the console we'll come back and get it all hooked up in there uh, looking good but for now, I just want to go over exactly what we have. We're running the AVR S750H from Denon. And this does have the HEOS capability as well, just like uh, the living room setup. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. Uh, he has the Logitech Harmony, uh, which can control everything. And we're using a 75-inch Samsung uh, Q-Series, the Q60, for our television. And that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and play a demo for you guys. I wanna hear what you think about it. All right guys, this is just a standard programming demo. Kinda of cool, I was sitting here talking with the customer about the differences between all channel stereo and Dolby Surround and making adjustments uh, through the app as well as internal on the Denon receiver. What's really cool is this unit, uh, Denon and Marantz products, uh, they have a quick select option through their app where you can adjust your level calibration and then default it back if you want to go to that extent and play with it. But this is an idea of the image quality you can expect from standard cable. 
And then this is in Dolby, so like when you're watching a sports game, here you hear that dialogue primarily from the announcer just right here. This is the center speaker, just like downstairs in his living room, we have an RP640D. This one is pre-wired up here, so you can hear like the people cheering right here behind us. It's supposed to emulate you being there. Hear how like they even put like the guy punting the ball uh, through the rear just a little bit to kind of make you feel like you're there. Very, very tight coverage. All right, let's play a movie demo. All right, guys, this is just a Dolby Atmos Horizon demo. You see me play this a lot in uh, Dolby Atmos setups. This isn't Dolby Atmos. This is just a 5.1, but it's still going to decode it as a 5.1. Um, I just really like it because you feel all of the effects moving through the room. Let me know what you think listening to it through your computer or your cell phone. Probably my most enjoy listening to it. <laughs> Right now, you're listening to where cinematic audio has been. Because we are so used to hearing sound this way, we don't notice that it is merely a fraction of what its potential could be. But what if sound could be extraordinary again? You just dropped it, Bert. from the back, to all the way in front, parks overhead, almost anywhere in between. Today, we need to do every reaction. How does that sound? Is that what you were expecting? No, because it's way better. That was awesome. <laughs> okay, cool. That's what we're going for. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that demo and found this video informative on this theater that we just completed here in Frisco, Texas. This is a 5.1. You got the 75 inch Q60R up here behind me. We do sell all of these products, Samsung, Denon, Eclipse, uh, and we have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee. If you guys are creating a system and you need some help, we offer free system design as long as you purchase from us. We really appreciate all of your support. It means the world to us. If you guys like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below. Until next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching.